stinking crazy looking line from here, isn't it? Jeez. There is some good snow fields up there. You can't really see them, but that top one, you just see that bright triangle up there. That's really good for, I don't know, 300 feet probably. And then a traverse over, and then another little shot, and then another traverse, another shot, and then a narrow chimney, and then takes the skiers left and goes down around the corner. We're hopeful. Oh yeah. We should do this more often. Got to stomp this section because it's, there's a throat right there, I forgot. We came up below, forgot to uh, film it. We came up below this rock band. Well, Trevor, it looks like we're denied here. I'm going down, I'm going home. We'll be back, maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down this little prowl a little bit so I might be knocking some snow on you. Uh, so just, if you put your elbow on the rock, it'll probably be high, high enough so nothing will hit your camera, but I don't know. I'm not really sure. Wow. It is hard. Got one in. Okay, this is where it actually turns sane. There he goes. That's the portion where it's still hard, but it's sane. Well, clearly it was stiff in there, and if it was 10 or 15 degrees warmer, that would be a lot more fun. So maybe tomorrow's the day. saying <laughs> elevation what was it elevating the game elevating the game oh yeah it was a total game elevator there man so i might not admit it but i bet he's trying to calm those little butterflies right now right before this first turn because right down there left hand side of your screen is death <laughs> kind of all directions Probably 45, 40-ish degrees in there somewhere. There he goes. See if he's gonna knock this whole thing down. We had a slough go by us on the way up. Top snowfield on Mount Muir. 
Seeing the buttress. Oh, don't do that. Big no is right there. All right, we're in the middle of it. And uh, yeah, as bulgy as this is, and really out of the league of skiing, it's kind of extreme for skiing. Done a lot of rad things. This is pretty fucking rad, and I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't for Andy. Oh, thank so, you, I think. You might want to wait until the bottom for that one, though. We'll wait for until we're at the bottom, but... Wow, it's snowballing on me. Gotta keep my eyes up. Here comes more. Here comes the river. Oh, they're going right past me. Thank you very much. Give me a holler if anything comes down behind me. <laughs> you got it. Go left and go right. Go right down the center. A little bit of motion. Does it look steep from here? Oh my god, what what are these crazy boys doing? Holy samoles. Are you of your right mind, son? Well, we got a bit of an audience down there. Good. This part looks sketchy. Hope Andy feels good about it. Well, that's tenuous for sure. I was very scared. Very scared. I, know. I was apprehensive. I was knocking down a lot of stuff. It's pretty neat. Oh, here he goes. All right. 
stuck it. I'm starting to feel encouraged. We're gonna make it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think we're gonna make it. No problem. You made it through the crux now. We decided to blay this section because it was a little hairball right up there. It was a little, it was a little scary. There was some ice. Whatever, the sun's setting. We're gonna ski this when it's hard again, unfortunately, but that's it. We're safe. And there it is. The first proper descent of mirror. Wow. Well, it started freezing up on us again, but it wasn't as hard as last time. Ah! Ah! Holy fuck. Oh my God. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. Glad. Glad to be down. <laughs> there really aren't words, are there? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ugh. Back in the sunshine again. Oh, Woo! That was a hell of an adventure. Was it ever in doubt? <sighs> well, well, it was in doubt for a while. It was in doubt. <laughs> but, you know, we couldn't rule it out. And we never did rule it out. We kept doing it. Kept after it until you know, it was either doable or not. It's the problem with doing what we do. May 7th, uh, 2011. We're here at the base of uh, Mount Muir's East Buttress after having successfully climbed and skied it today. I feel very lucky that um, Dave and I got up there safely and got back down again. It was an amazing route. Just not a not an inch of it where you can um, relax. Much. And, um, boy, that was something. This route was pretty cool. It's kind of like a cross between uh, East Face Mount Whitney and the Giant Steps. And uh, for all you guys who thought the Giant Steps was too easy, you should come here and do this. This was uh, this was definitely a little bit harder, but. For the three guys that I took up there that couldn't ski the top, you better work on that first, all right? 